Okay, this is how I would paraphrase this paragraph. <coughs> if you listen before you buy, that increases sales. So, it must be true that at least some listeners who hear a single on a web page are not satisfied with just hearing the single and choose to purchase the album when it's released. This must be true. If listening before you buy increases sale, then at least some, that might be one, some can be one, at least some listeners. Grant, great. So that's the answer. We can take a look at these real quickly. Let's see if there's some good ones to. So this is out of scope, music industry executives. Yeah, this is the only one that I can point to. It's a paraphrasing. It's saying the same thing in a different way. It's saying at least some listeners are not satisfied and choose to purchase the album. And this is saying the same thing, but in different words. Classic paraphrasing. Looks like we probably got the right answer here. Great. Nice. Go ahead and work this question. You have two minutes. All right, so a movie theater owner is considering changing his, this is a tough question, a lot of people I'm guessing picked B and or got it down to B and D. And the answer is, did we get a lot of B's in there? Mostly D's. Mostly D's? Okay, nice work. I think D is the answer. The, the difficulty with this one and the reason a lot of people go with B and the reason why it's not correct is B's a little too definitive. It's definitely telling us that it will decrease. And versus D, where they tell us, remember, it's the least sucky answer choice, or the best one, as they like to say. Restaurants on the same block as Bob's Theater may. So I'm more likely to know that this might happen than to know that this definitely will happen. And that's why D is an attractive, or a correct answer choice. B is quite attractive, but not correct. You can always view the explanation if you're a Grocket Standard member as well as having the Grocket TV uh, membership. Um, great, I just earned a hot streak badge. I can share that on Facebook later. One more question. You have two minutes. Bon appetit.
All right, great. Let's take a look at this one <clears throat> together. So again, we're getting our task from the paragraph. We're looking for the best example of the defensive strategy that's mentioned here. The defensive strategy is that um, you know, long-standing firms they rarely innovate when there is um, innovation by other companies. So C ends up being a really good example of that, and let's dissect it. A once leading maker of buggy whips responds to the new availability of stick shifts by attempting to make better buggy whips. So just like it says here, they don't innovate and they underestimate the consequences of innovation by other companies. So there's some innovation by another company here, um, this new availability of stick shifts, and the leading manufacturer of buggy whips does not innovate, they just attempt to make better buggy whips. So this is a good example of the defensive strategy that is employed here. Let's go ahead and pick that guy. Awesome. So that was also a difficult question. These last couple questions we looked at were statistically uh, the number of people who get them correct are a lot less than some of the earlier questions that we saw just to get our heads wrapped around these processes. So today, class went quickly as usual. We uh, worked on inference questions. We worked on complete the passage question and we worked on evaluate or plan uh, a plan or proposal. How do we close the learning loop? We should be keeping track of questions that we get wrong and answering these four questions in a notebook that we keep during our GMAT studies. Why is the right answer right? Why did I think it was wrong? Why is the wrong answer wrong? And why did I think it was right? And with these questions we get um, we can understand the test and we can understand our brains or our minds. And these are the only two things we have to tackle the GMAT. The test itself and our minds. Awesome. Let's take a look at today's homework or this week's homework <clears throat> for Grocket Standard members. You should be working about 18 critical reasoning questions, six of each type that we learned today, six inference, six evaluation of a plan, six complete the passage questions. You want to review every single one that you do. Don't go and just do more work. More work does not equal more learning. Review equals learning. And soon we may be able to statistically prove that to you. We'll keep you posted on that. But what we found is that people who review generally do better. Do your work. Go to your analytics, review every question. Even the ones you get correct, you'll learn things from the explanations. Uh, other than that, hey Barb, yes, sir. Can you explain the moldy cheese again? Can I explain the moldy cheese again? Sure. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we got a piece of cheese, like a GMAT answer choice, and there's a little bit of mold over here on the cheese. And I'm thinking I can just cut off this piece of mold and enjoy the rest of my cheese, but I shouldn't. If there's a little bit of mold on cheese, there's mold all over the cheese that you can't see. You should just get rid of the whole thing. Okay? You got a little bit of mold on your cheese, throw the whole block of cheese out. Same thing with GMAT answer choices. If you have a little bit of mold on that answer choice, if one word is not supported, if you can get rid of that whole answer choice, all the words have to make sense. Right? So a lot of times I'll identify some extreme word that's not supported, that word is moldy, it's not good, get rid of the whole answer choice. Hope that was helpful. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot for joining us here. Uh, Stacy Blackman is going to be on in just a few seconds. Uh, we're going to go off air, give it about 10 seconds, hit the refresh button and you should see Stacy Blackman. If not, just hit the refresh button again. I know she'll be there. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and good luck studying.